Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to set up filter rules so you only allow data um, to import if it meets the criteria you want. So I already have an import page created in Easy CSV. This is pretty easy. There's a lot of videos on how to do this. You just take your example CSV and you set up this new page. So this page is for importing CSV files that have these six columns, customer name, phone number, email address, consultant, country, and email domain. So let's say we only want um, people or, or rows from the spreadsheet that have the country Canada um, and maybe we want to make sure the consultant row or the consultant column has a value in it. If it's if they're not from Canada and they don't have a consultant, we don't want to send the data to the destination. We don't want to import it. So once you get your import page, you'll come up here to filter rules and you'll see that uh, none are set up. So let's choose the first one. You choose the column that you want the rule based off of. And you have a bunch of things you can look for, like if it's a date column, you can say is today, yesterday, or the dates before. You can say that something exists in the column or it doesn't. Um, let's say for this one, we just want to say that the uh, country column contains Canada. So we're going to only import a spreadsheet row, so each row will only be imported if the country column contains the word Canada. So we could save this and it, it would skip every row that doesn't contain Canada. Now we also want to say that it has to contain Canada and consultant exists. So we want to say that they have something in the consultant column because maybe like we don't want to import people that you know don't have somebody to talk to. Now if it meets both of these criteria it'll be through. If it doesn't meet both it'll be filtered out each row. So let's say we also want to say we want to make a special case where like it can either match these or Let's say the customer name, or well, let's, let's see here. Let's say the email domain contains, uh, you know, gmail.com. We want everybody that contains Gmail in their email, or they're from Canada and have a consultant. So that means it'll check every row for that and filter out the rows that don't meet this, and it'll let the rows through that do meet this. Cool. Then you'll save. You'll go back to your import page and you can just import CSVs and it'll um, you know, filter out bad data that don't meet the criteria and it'll leave data that does. And that's it. Thanks.